How do you get testimonials for your products, for your services, for your website, and for your online business overall? As I'm sure you know, as I hope you know, testimonials are hugely powerful and very important for your business. And that's because they're in the words of your happy, satisfied customers. That is people who are just like the sorts of people that you want to attract into your business, right? But getting really great testimonials for your website and for your business can be challenging. So here, what we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna cover some killer strategies to get testimonials for your business. Hey there, my friend, I'm Jeff Blake from 10tononline.com. If you want to escape the grind, build a fulfilling and profitable online business and launch a better tomorrow for yourself, then you are definitely in the right spot. All right, so let's talk about how you can get killer testimonials for your business. Now, to help you along with all of this stuff, I've put together an online business jumpstart guide for you. This is a free, easy to follow PDF guide that really gives you a blueprint to follow. It helps you build a solid foundation for your business. This is a printable workbook where essentially you fill it out and it becomes a reference guide for you. This is the blueprint aspect for yourself and your profitable online business. And it really becomes the foundation for your online business. Go ahead and grab your free guide right now over at 10tononline.com forward slash jump. Next, be sure to stick around to the end of this video where I will show you how you can gain access to even deeper training that takes what we're talking about here to an even deeper level. Now, this is free training that I'm gonna show you how you can gain access to, but it is really only intended for those who are serious about building a serious, profitable, fulfilling online business. So like I say, stick around to the end and I'll show you how you can gain access. Okay, now let's jump into this testimonial stuff. Here's the first way to get really great testimonials for your business, and it is very, very often overlooked. Just ask. Yep, just ask your existing customers. What a concept. And here's why you want to be sure to do this. I think very often business owners wait until a customer voluntarily offers a testimonial, maybe in the form of an email where they're expressing their satisfaction with the product or service or something like this. I suppose this makes sense because as business owners and entrepreneurs, folks like you and I, we are very busy. We're wearing multiple hats. And when we add on this process of gathering testimonials, it means having some kind of additional systems or processes in place to regularly collect testimonials. And very often this falls by the wayside. In other words, I think what I'm trying to say is that very often we have a limited amount of time and energy and hours in the day. And we are very, unless <laughs> maybe I'm the only one, but maybe you're the same. We're prioritizing, right? So I can't do everything in my business all in one day. So I've got to prioritize. And for whatever reason, testimonials always gets bumped further and further down the list. But consider this, even very happy, satisfied customers very often remain silent. So if you want killer testimonials for your business, for your products, for your services, you can't sit and wait for your customers to offer them. Instead, we've got to be proactive. Another challenge is if you're brand new to business, you might be sitting there going, well, how do I even get my first testimonials? I haven't even gotten my first sale yet. So that can be really difficult. It can be a real big challenge to get the first testimonials, especially when you're just starting out. In other words, it's kind of like a catch 22. If you only have a few sales so far, or maybe no sales just yet, then it can be really hard to ask customers for a testimonial because you don't have many customers yet. Well, fear not my friend, with a little bit of creative thinking, we can circumnavigate these challenges. And this leads us perfectly into the second way that we can gather killer testimonials for your business. So whether you're just getting started in business or even if you've been at this business stuff for a while and maybe you already have solid sales, you can definitely use this second technique for getting really great testimonials. And here it is, ask for testimonials in exchange 
for maybe a free sample or a limited time trial, or maybe even a completely free product. Get creative here. I'm sure you can come up with something really great on your end. The idea here is that you wanna give a handful of your customers and if you're already in business, I would suggest your best customers your product for free or a portion of your product for free or maybe a short-term trial, like I said, whatever you see fit here. And in exchange, they're going to provide you with a testimonial. And of course, you tell them all of this up front. Hey, I've got this really great new product or service that I'm excited about. I'd love for you to try it. Would you like to try it in exchange for a testimonial? You can use this strategy too if you are just getting started and you don't have any sales yet. You could even ask friends, hey, I've put together this product or this service. I would love to show it to you. And I really want to help promote this thing. If I let you try this out, would you give me a testimonial in exchange? Or you don't have to use the word testimonial. You could say, could you give me some kind words that I could use in my marketing and promotional materials, something like this. So this is really great if you're just getting started or it's really great for a situation where maybe you're launching a new product or a new service of some kind. Most importantly, we've got to keep everything honest and above board here. No shenanigans or anything like this. And just be sure to be completely upfront with your customer or your potential customer that they understand that they've got to uphold their end of the exchange and provide you with an honest, genuine testimonial. Again, you don't have to use that word with them. And again, maybe set it up so that all of this is going to happen within a specific period of time. Okay, so, so far we've seen two different approaches for getting really great testimonials for yourself, for your online business, for your products, and for your services. The only issues that I have with these first two methods is that everything is manual. And my preference, the way that I like to work, is to automate everything as much as humanly possible. And that's mostly because my brain is non-functioning most of the time. So with setting up some kind of an automated system to collect testimonials, I don't have to remember, oh, I should email that person and ask them for a testimonial, or I should really follow up with that person and it slips through the cracks and then too much time has passed and I stare at the ceiling wondering why I'm such an idiot. So yes, you can absolutely automate the gathering, the collecting of really great testimonials for your business. So I know you're wondering, how? How do you do this? Well, all you need to do is set up an email autoresponder to ask your customer for a testimonial after a certain period of time. Now, if you're not sure an autoresponder is simply an email or maybe a series of emails that automatically gets sent out anytime a particular event occurs. This is all done, of course, inside your email marketing service. So an email autoresponder has a trigger of some kind that is then followed by a series of events, typically emails being sent in a particular order over a particular period of time. So here's how you can use an autoresponder for yourself to gather testimonials for your business. You could set up a simple autoresponder sequence in your email marketing service and by the way, if you'd like my recommendation for email marketing services, check out the show notes down below. And there, what you would do is you would set up a simple autoresponder sequence that gets triggered or activated anytime someone makes a purchase from you. Now, you can set up your email autoresponder, your testimonial email autoresponder sequence, whatever you want to call it, however you like. But this is what I would suggest you do. I would suggest you do something like this. Right after someone buys from you, immediately after someone makes a purchase from you, send them a personal thank you email. This would be the first email in the autoresponder sequence. So here you could introduce yourself, you could thank them for making the purchase. And then here's what I suggest you do next. Include some kind of free gift or bonus, some kind of small gift. This could be maybe a short video series, maybe a downloadable cheat sheet or a printable reference card of some kind, something else in addition to what they've purchased that they didn't know, that they had no idea they were going to get this, but it's got to be helpful and valuable for them that relates to their purchase. 
what this does is it reinforces their purchasing decision. Because after all, very often, I mean, this happens to me, I'm sure it happens to you too, very often, immediately after we buy something, sometimes we have that little pang of, not regret, but like, oh, did I make the right choice here? It's called buyer's remorse. It usually goes something like, oh shoot, did I just make a mistake? Did I make the right decision here? So what we want to do is we want to eliminate or at least greatly diminish this feeling and reinforce that their decision was right and letting them know that, yeah, they made the right choice here. So that's maybe the second email in the autoresponder sequence. Maybe it comes a day after their purchase, or maybe it's included in that first email. You could certainly do that as well, which is sent right away, right after they purchase. Now, next, I strongly suggest that you wait a day and then send them an email with a link to a blog post or an article or a video of yours that relates to the product that they've bought. Again, the whole idea here is to reinforce the buying decision. In fact, you can repeat this step here as often as you'd like. You could wait another day and then send another article or link to a video or link to a blog post or whatever. Wait another day and then send another link to another video, another article, and so on. Once again, my friend, this helps to reinforce that they are in the right spot, that they're in good hands, that you're there to guide them and help them, and that they've made the right decision to purchase from you. Notice, though, that everything that we're talking about here has nothing to do with gathering testimonials, does it? Well, obviously, you can't ask for a testimonial too early on, right? So what I would suggest you do as it relates to testimonials is to wait a week or so. I mean, it really depends on the kind of product or service that you're selling. So you'll have to kind of determine this for yourself. You'll know yourself what period of time is appropriate to wait before asking for a testimonial. So wait a period of time and then send an email that asks them for the testimonial. As an example, you might say something like, hey, I hope you're really enjoying product name and I'd love to get your thoughts on it. No doubt you've noticed that we use testimonials throughout our website and I'd love to add your thoughts too. You can word it however you want. This is just kind of all off the cuff here, but you get the idea here. You just want to send them some kind of an email. Keep it short and sweet and light and casual. That's what I would suggest anyway. And it goes without saying, by the way, and I think I mentioned this earlier on, but just in case, it goes without saying, I really hope that all of your testimonials have to be real, authentic, and genuine from your actual customer base or from your audience. All right, now, my friend, if you're ready to take the next big steps forward with your online business, with building your profitable online business, then here's what to do. Pop open a new browser tab. Head over to 10tononline.com forward slash free. There, you're going to find an online business workshop. This is a free self-paced online workshop that really lays out the foundational building blocks for your profitable and fulfilling online business. I know you're going to get a lot out of this free training. Be sure to grab something to take notes with. However you like to take notes, bring that along. I think you're going to need a beverage of some kind. I will leave that choice up to you, and I'll catch you over there in just a second.